When working on your custom MIDI remote script, being able to quickly see changes to your script in Ableton can greatly speed up the process. In some of my older videos, you may have seen me reloading my Ableton session to see changes that I had made to my script. This script reloading feature was removed in Live 11, and unfortunately the situation still remains the same in 12. So I contacted Ableton to ask if reloading of MIDI remote scripts could be achieved at all in Live 11 and 12. Here's what they said. With Live 11, we've upgraded to Python 3, which introduced some changes to the whole Python-based infrastructure. As a result, indeed, with Live 11, loading and reloading a set won't recompile remote scripts anymore. If you're using a Live 11 beta version, it's possible to enable the tools menu, which includes the reload MIDI remote scripts. The great thing about this new reload MIDI remote scripts menu option is that you don't even need to reload the session. You can simply select reload MIDI remote scripts at any time. And it even has a keyboard shortcut. Using this, my MIDI remote script building process looks like this. I make a change to my script in Control Surface Studio. Click the button to generate script into Ableton Live. Then switch to Ableton and click Reload MIDI Remote Scripts. My script changes are instantly available. There's no need to close and reopen Ableton. Unfortunately, this menu option is only available in beta versions of Live 11 and 12. So the first step will be to get accepted into the program. On Ableton.com, it says that Live 12 Beta is open to all owners of Live 12. This link takes you to their beta testing platform on Centercode.com, where you can register. Go through their form, answering all of the questions as best you can. Getting accepted into the program can take a few days, so be prepared for this wait time. Once you're accepted, you will have Ableton Live 12 as an option in the My Projects section. Go to Beta Releases and download the available version of Live 12. You'll now need to create an options.txt file and then add underscore tools menu remote scripts to it. and then place the options.txt file into the preferences folder for the current beta version of Ableton Live that you're using. And here's where to put it on Windows. Then, after opening this beta version of Live, you will see a new menu called Tools, and in here is the Reload MIDI Remote Scripts option. You now have instant reloading of your MIDI Remote Scripts available to you, making your script customizing a super quick process.